Parts of this story are undisputed. For starters, Army Specialist Justin Perez Gorda was severely injured while serving our country in Afghanistan in January 2011. But parts of this story are very much in question tonight, specifically whether Perez Gorda is paralyzed, as he and his wife publicly claimed for years. I've seen him with my own eyes, and that claim is not true. This was former Army Specialist Justin Perez Gorda one month ago unloading long pieces of lumber inside the garage of his Dripping Springs home. It was a much different sight than the one captured by cameras right before Christmas 2013. Very happy, we're excited to be here today. Neighbors, state dignitaries, and other wounded veterans greeted Perez Gorda as he, his wife, and their two daughters moved into a home with lowered countertops, wide hallways, and bathrooms specifically built to accommodate a person in a wheelchair. The home, appraised for more than $380,000, was built and paid for by the national nonprofit Homes for Our Troops. This YouTube video was shot by Homes for Our Troops before it awarded the house to Perez Gorda and his wife. Executive Director Bill Ivey called it a video interview of sorts, later used to raise money to fund the new home. We're going to stay in this house and it's going to be um, it's going to be our home. The interview contains sensitive and specific information about the extent of Justin's wartime injuries, which included a traumatic brain injury or TBI. He has permanent loss of use of both lower extremities. He's paralyzed from the belly button down. Perez Gorda made the same claim when Ken's five spoke with him in April 2012. I'm paralyzed. I have a TBI. The medical assertion fell apart almost as soon as the Perez Gordas rolled out the welcome mat. Within weeks, in January 2015, members of the community began to see something incredible. Justin walking around his property with no wheelchair in sight. When approached about Justin's recovery from paralysis, the couple became angry and withdrawn, according to Dripping Springs residents we spoke with, who asked us not to reveal their names. Their concerns made it to Homes for Our Troops, which repeatedly reached out to Justin last year. He did not respond to their inquiries, according to the nonprofit. So, late last year, an employee for Homes for Our Troops drove from Alabama to Texas to investigate. According to the organization, Justin refused to come out of a back bedroom. The employee talked to Justin's wife for 45 minutes, but left town without any answers. We hear that phrase a lot, permanently paralyzed, or paralyzed from the belly button down or the waist down. Um, is that phrase used too much? It is. Dr. Jesse never, Neely, formerly of Brook Army Medical Center's Warrior Clinic, is now the medical director of Reeves Rehabilitation Center at University Hospital. He says a traumatic brain injury alone rarely causes paralysis from the waist down. It has to actually be some kind of spinal cord injury. Correct. My rehab... So what were Perez Gorda's injuries? He qualified for the home after completing the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs grant process for specially adapted housing and passing a background check. The Army confirmed to the I-Team Perez Gorda was medically retired from the military, but his medical records are sealed. Homes for Our Troops now believes Perez Gorda actually has an incomplete spinal cord injury. Dr. Neely, who did not treat Perez Gorda, says patients do not recover from these type of traumatic injuries this quickly. Where are they usually at one month after being wheelchair bound? They would be in outpatient physical therapy, utilizing a walker or other uh, sort of uh, assistive device to walk. Last month, we made a trip to Dripping Springs and sure enough saw what neighbors have seen for 17 months. Justin Perez Gorda walking, then carrying wood. Hey Justin. He stood face to face with us as he threw us off his property. We covered the building of this house back in 2013. Homes for Our Troops Executive Director Bill Ivey released the following statement to the I-Team, quote, Obviously there is something out there we missed. Homes for Our Troops continues to assess the situation and is weighing our options. Ivey said taking back the home is on the table, but as a last resort. Justin's bio was recently updated to say he was diagnosed with incomplete paraplegia and not permanent paralysis. 
Ivy said he made the change after re-examining Justin's medical records. I spoke with Justin's wife, Josephine, for an hour yesterday. She slammed Homes for Our Troops and said the nonprofit has known for years her husband is able to walk.